Welcome back to Metroid Prime 3. We had just conquered, well, not really so much conquered, but... Saved. Saved. Yeah. S yeah, saved the planet of Brio. The Leviathan Seed has been destroyed. No problem. Does a tip of her visor. Milady. <laughs> My computer. <laughs> Oh boy, do we got a weather level to go through? Instead, you may land near an automated research facility floating high above the surface, where GF Aurora Unit 2. Yeah, the planet's kind of inhabitable, uninhabitable. But there's like a floating city above the surface. Interesting. How on earth did they build the floating city? I don't know. I'm gonna have to scan some lore and find out, I guess. I would love that. Once Unit 217 has been restored, it will help us find a way to destroy the Leviathan. So another computer bionic thing, another phase on corruption, another planet, another Leviathan seed, it's just another leg of Dark Samus's attack on the Galactic Federation. And possibly another one of our friends taken over by corruption! So oh, I don't know about that, but uh, let's walk around up here. Let's, uh, because we've got some other buttons here. What we got here? Enemies kill 370. Oh, we're about to hit 400. Records! Oh, Yay! All right. Okay. 36% of all rooms visited? Oh, yeah. Holy cow! Still got another planet or two to, to explore. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, oh, arm the missiles! Cool. Hmm. What do we got, what do we got over here? Uh, two more, two more buttons. Okay, oh. defense is up. All right. Shield. Okay. Uh, and we got... Ejector seek. <laughs> ah! Oh, it's that, uh, bionic scan we got in the, in the first, uh, in the first chapter. I just hold it there and they're gonna check to see how corrupted we are. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We're corrupted, all right. Status. Panic. We're 25% corrupted with phase on. Yeah, that's that's almost a hundred. That's that's Ew. that's that's like twenty five percent more than I want it to be. That's twenty six percent more than I want it to be. I would like to be negative phase on, please. I, I would indeed like to be negative phase on. Well, I, I guess we'll put in the we'll put that in the back of our minds for now and make our way to Elysia. That's where the corruption is, the back of the mind. <laughs> no, 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 get no, out, no, get no, out, no, get no, out, no. No. Okay, put it in the forefront of our mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, you have a bad case of corruption in your cerebellum. What do you plan on doing? Uh, 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 panic! Hopefully living for the next five <laughs> minutes, uh... Your cerebral cortex is just corrupted with Phazon. Uh, don't tell me that! Oh, no. Things are going blurry. Oh, there's, there's the seed. Looks kind of... I don't know how we can reach it from here. Ah. Huh. And here's the floating city. I think I saw this in Tears of the Kingdom. Whoa. Oh my god, could it be that Zelda takes place on the planet of Elysia? This is like a far distant... It, the, the Metroid and the Zelda worlds are connected. Finally. I can't wait to see a Loftwing try and fly in this crap. Well, here we are at Elysia. We've got a few things we can scan. First of all, we got a heavy Skytown storage unit. Then we got the smaller one. Of course. Pretty simple stuff. And there's Ooh. there's one guy over here, but he's kind of getting away. But uh, he kind of goes in like a loop pattern. He's just doing his job. He's being a little guy. And right back over. He should be coming. Oh, th there he is. Uh, it's a transportation drone. He's just carrying stuff. Not doing anything. He's just carrying things. What are you? That's an aerial repair drone. <laughs> that was a lot of years. Mm, yeah. I think this is like an ancient floating city. A couple more things here. Here's how we get our lore. This is a data bot. Woo! And you... Well, we also have here the uh, Elysian blue door. And you could shoot the data bot and he's like, okay, here's our story. <laughs> Please scan data. This is the creators. Ooh. 
I am Elysian, descendant of both the Chozo and the First. I am facing the last moment. In a way, our chronicle begins nearly 1500 years ago. That was when our noble creators, the Chozo, began to build that which would become our home, a place of exploration and knowledge floating in the clouds of planet Elysia, a fitting home for its great Chozo builders. They build many linked. So the Chozo basically built a whole lot of automated mechanical beings to exist and observe the clouds of Elysia and learn about the knowledge and universe and all that stuff. I mean, look, there's even a Chozo statue right here, if I can just get in the damn thing. It's kind of corrupted, though, so let me go ahead and go into hyperball mode and take care of all that right then and there. Awesome. Perfect. See, I thought it put you into hyper mode, and then, <laughs> and then I saw the corruption, and it's all bad. But now it's all good. Well, okay, it's still very bad, but that's that's fine. We it's it's better this. than not good. It, it, that's you know that's true, and I will indeed take better than not good. I do like the design on the doors. It's so lovely. I love the design of this city. Yeah. This is <gasps> a. Oh, I just realized. Are we gonna Bioshock Infinite this bitch? More like. Is Bioshock Infinite going to Metroid Prime, Prime 3? 3. Oh! Sky rails are my favorite thing to go on. You have your, your zipline cable, of course. Make sure you scan it. Me like, me like. Of course, the grapple, the grapple beam does what it's supposed to. But, yes. Uh, don't think that it's just going to be like that the whole way. You got shit to shoot at. We have to open the doors? Oh, and we gotta take out the little bot buddies. Yep. <laughs> I'm sorry, bot buddies. It's nothing personal. Nope. So what happens if you get hit by a door? Do you just fall to your doom? When you get hit by the doors, you take damage. Oh, that's it? Yes. Oh, okay. That's it. For now. It's more the realistic version. Samus is probably not gonna fall and then respawn somewhere else. You just avoid out and go right back. Well, we got the new enemy types. I think their security system is back up and running. Ow. These are tin bots. They're just... They're just androids. They're like Roombas, basically. <laughs> Don't worry about them. A Roomba that fights back? No! Oh, they gave the Roomba a little, a little knife and a little microwave gun. Ooh, oh, yeah. what's it gonna do? Ah. I, was, I am your master. I am part Chozo, damn it. I thought you were about to say I'm part vacuum cleaner or something like that. I think they're only meant to recognize 100% Chozo DNA, not uh, uh, whatever hybrid Samus is right now. 60 40? It's probably 70 30. 70 30? 70 human, 30 Chozo? Well, it'll probably be like 60 uh, Chozo, 20 human, 10 Metroid at this point. Alright, so the Elysians created about, about 1500 years ago. Crewed by our current standards, the first was soon given the greatest gift of all the Chozo. Uh, the better since the creators, the first was given self awareness, and the first shared the Chozo gift. So, uh, yeah, it was uh, a machine they gave sentience to run the machines. A machine to lead the machines. The blind leading the blind here, I'd say, and what the hell is that? Oh, no worry. I like it. I like it. I can just imagine one of the bots just went, oh, phase in, phase out technology. Cool. More like phase on. Ah! I was just thinking that as I was saying, you know, if I say phase in, phase out, I know phase on is going to be next. And I'm so glad, you know, toss the softball, hit that home run. Everybody, all the kids in the team get a pizza party. Well, I don't want this in me. I want to phase out of it. Phase. I still think one of the stupidest things I've ever written is when I did the playlist for Metroid Prime 2 Echoes, I said, hey. It's not a phase on mom! <laughs> she says in her new black and blue suit. Black and phase on blue suit. <laughs> we're just kind of getting our bearings here, just trying to figure out where to go next. Well, uh, we're heading to uh, the Aurora 217 right now. We're heading to the big supercomputer they put here that is, uh, unresponsive. Oh, damn it. Okay, we do phase out and phase back in. Yeah, there's a bot there that uh, throws energy balls. You gotta shoot the energy balls. But yeah, 
We're on our way to, to Unit seven, uh, 217, or whatever his name is. Scrub through the phase on. Hasn't been responsive in the past, like, what, month or so? Ugh. Assuming the worst. We sent Gore. Haven't heard from him in a week. Assume the worst of All that, right, too. Alright, even more assuming of the worst. Yes. So now that Samus is here and actually doing a, the only competent job in this entire Milky Way... You know, I am kind of glad this does take place in our Milky Way. Does it? I mean, I know Mass Effect does, but I don't think uh, the the events of Metroid do. Oh, a little sneaky! You, you could have seen this uh, coming back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But hey, might as well get it now. Exactly. Plus, you can look really cool dodging the lasers. Well, of course. I wonder what kind of fool would be like, I, t I can't figure this out! How do I get past these? The lasers keep killing me! Hello, GameFAQs forums! How do I get past this laser part in, in the Sky Town? God, I never used GameFAQs. I, I use GameFAQs more now for old games than I do when I was actually playing these games. I use GameFAQs for guides, not so much the forums, though. Yeah, I you know, what's what's kind of cool is that the guy whose guide I'm using to help me through this is also the same guy who wrote all the Yakuza guides. So, you know, some of the best guides you could ever hope for. Nice. I mean, those those guys help me, help me get through the games. See, I just love going to GameFAQs and seeing seven different people's uh, walkthroughs <laughs> <laughs> for specific things, and sometimes you oh. go, oh no. I'm sorry I spoke ill of game facts. It didn't prepare me for this! Oh hey, it's the magician robot. It's that guy. And it's those things. Oh no. I have been snuck up on. They oh, did, any, oh, well, any, anyone away. They kind of phase in and out of existence here. This, oh. is, this is a steam bus. Oh, they <laughs> Basically uh, souped up versions of the tin bus we saw earlier. Yeah. Our use of water and heat will not <laughs> let us fall too easily. What's cool is Ow. that it fogs up your visor. I like that. That's a nice effect. Very nice. He shows up to fix them. This is the Steam Lord. <laughs> you know what? That's actually an awesome name. Like, I can see Gabe Newell playing this and just be like, Yes! Steam Lord! <laughs> Steam Lord, I love it. This is, this is the future. <laughs> I love that concept. <laughs> and then he makes the Valve Index too, and just be like, nobody can have Steam Lord, it's mine! Oh, I would love for Valve and Retro to work together on a Metroid game. God. I mean, it, it, it never happened, it just, it'd just be a dream. Can you imagine how many like small details there would be in every single moment of that game? Yeah, it never happened, though. Look. Like, what? Another free E-Tank? Hell yeah! Another free tank. Yes! All the all the E-Tanks have been free, basically. We take those! We we, uh, we take them, but we, we, we have no choice but to take them. Yoink, indeed. Are there low percent runs in this game? I wonder how low you can go, really. Yeah, that's what I was wondering, because you mentioned there's quite a few things where it's just like, you gotta take it. Or it's like, how many parts are in your way? Your active way, I wonder. Hmm. Because I know Metroid Fusion, there are such things as a 0% run and a 1% run. And that's all based on whether you can dodge the E-Tank the e that's directly in front of you. Yeah, it's very hard. It's, it's got a huge hitbox, and uh, it's, t it's a very tight jump to make. Oh, more, more lore. Discovery. Okay. Chozo were watchers studying the depths of space tirelessly to quench their thirst for knowledge, as they do. From this facility, they launched observation satellites firing them into the heavens towards distant worlds. These satellites returned information that allowed them to analyze the various phenomena occurring across the cosmos and lead the way to, to future spin-off games. Uh, one day, a Chozo searcher happened upon a very rare discovery. A once-thought lost satellite delivered information on a distant world. It was incredibly far away even by the Chozo reckoning. Study of the stellar object revealed that it was in many ways a planet, and yet also sentient! Alive! This chance event was brief, and the information being collected was lost before the true identity of the planet was revealed! Did we just... discover Unicron? <laughs> Did they just find Phazon before it was even known? Ooh, Even worse. How long has Phazon been active? I don't want to think about that. <sighs> I don't want to think about the... the mystery space cancer that's been alive longer than the Chozo. Maybe it was uh, Kurt Russell from Guardians 2. <laughs> yeah. 
all the Phazon comes together and just be like, I'm Ego. <laughs> <laughs> and Samus is like, no! no! Oh, I hate these things. They get closer and closer, try to zap you off. It's it's it's, it's hard to aim when you're moving oh, like yeah, this. Oh, I see it, I see it, I see it. We're good. We're good. Right. We're good. Oh. oh, no. Oh, boy. It's going to be coming up. Yep, quick. Oh, shit. Ah, we're good. We're good. <laughs> All right. Made it. Nailed it. <sighs> good shit. Nailed it. <laughs> See, that was a cool looking door. And all for a save room. Nice. And all for a save room. Finally. Just to show that it's here. We'll be coming back to it. Put it on the map, so to speak. Just a, a little. Put a, little a pin in it. Yeah, a little thumbtack on it. And a pin. And also a safety pin. Not like a clothes pin. It's so interesting that the game has to tell you game was not saved. I mean, I know it's to reassure it to the player. It's like, hey, you chose no instead of yes. I hope you're okay with that decision you made. I'd be concerned if it said that, and I said, save game. <laughs> it starts to get passive-aggressive and just thinks, Oh, you meant save, yeah? Right? Oh, well, I, th I thought you were going to scan the, those those banshees at the beginning, but I guess not. I mean, I guess I, I guess can I now. save your game, either. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the, if we can implement Capcom's AI director, the worse you do, the easier it gets, and vice versa. Oh, no! That sucks! Oh! That sucks! Oh no! It's like there's mold growing in my apple juice! Oh, yeah. oh. Samus, help, I have the ick. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Get it off me. Get it off me. Uh, sick ass, man. These are sky puffers. You shoot them, they blow up. Easy as that? Easy as that. Man! Fucking face on God! <sighs> no worries, we'll take it out. I mean, we kinda have to. How could how could it get worse than this? Hmm. Do you want me to mention in ways where it could be a hundred percent worse? Can you give me three ways? Three ways? Alright, way one. Uh Dark Samus shows up right now. Well, okay, anytime she shows up would be bad, so, like, when, like, whenever we see her, that's bad. It could get worse by seeing her, but in a ways we're seeing her right now. Yep, uh, I knew he, it. <laughs> here, here's Gore's power battle oh, armor. Oh, God. I guess him showing up could be way too, it could get worse. Uh, you, you got a third way it could get worse? Uh, yeah, we trip and break our ankle. Well, it could get worse, but, uh, but, uh, we got special stabilizers within the suit to help us from doing that, so I don't think it's, that's gonna happen. Damn. I mean, that's a good thing, because... The the entire galaxy was doomed because of a sprained ankle. Just wouldn't go well in the galactic news force. Well, how could it get worse? Uh, what if we got corrupted again? We got the pet suit. That's gonna help with that. So then you know. But, uh, I don't know. If the Federation says it's going to help. You know, I'm fifty fifty on whether they're telling the truth or not at this point. Well, you heard the Aurora unit said that it was gonna help us. I mean, they can say that, but they're using phase on. Hey, buddy. All right. Okay, cool. <laughs> Glad we could have that talk. This is called the Sky Bridge Hera. This is a really cool room. I like this room. It's basically cut into three parts. Okay. This first part here, we got a uh, new new enemy here. These Dragoon Drones that yank them. Or they keep, just keep shooting at you. Give you the old yank and twist. Yank and twist. Yank and yeah. twist. New and twist. It's just a yank and twist! Look up here! Oh! Oh, Hello, beautiful. Ding! I love that. The fact that you can just look in something and be like, How the hell did they get up there? I want it, but... Because you hear it, too. Oh, that's right, there are audio cues in there. You hear the hum of the mist of the... Of, of an expansion or a pickup. Alright. Part two. Duck! Oh, no. Uh, go, go, okay. go, go, uh, go, go, go. Uh, uh, Alright. Oh, Steam Lord's back, but really? You're having a boss fight right here? Oh man, not the time! I gotta go, I gotta go, it's gonna, uh, it's gonna fall down! So, you just yank this. So that probably falls automatically, right? Stylish kill. Stylish kill, nice! I don't... 
I think if you would have stood there and uh, kept firing, it would have it would have killed you. But instead, we got the stylish kill. And then part three is just more drones. Badasses don't look behind them when they detach an entire platform filled with enemies. It's badass, man. It's so cool. You know, for a while there, I thought the uh, Samus flipping off the camera while walking into a ship or something like that, I thought that was real for the longest time. <laughs> oh, uh, props to the editor of that scene. It was extremely well done. This room not so crazy about. Good old-fashioned platforming with a big old void underneath you. Yeah, yep. There's a door we gotta get into over there. Doesn't seem too bad, except you probably can't see where you're landing. Thankfully, these platforms are close to a mile wide, so not too bad. Right, we gotta shoot this down first. Honestly, I'm glad you said that, because I totally would have just gone for the grapple point and missed that entirely. You would have run into a wall. I know. Oh, man. But now we gotta go into three separate bomb slots, and then it has to show us that it drops uh, each and every one of okay. them. Okay. Not a fan of this room at all. Hey, that's how you achieve balance, I suppose. Sometimes you have cool, awesome rooms where ba where badass stuff happens. Sometimes you gotta do tedious bullshit like this. See, this is the game saying, you got the stylish kill, now you can deal with this, right? Yeah. Maybe it punishes you for not getting the stylish kill. It's like, see, you could have had a badass moment, but nope, it's all tedium all the time for you, you mediocre bounty hunter, you. I don't know, I don't think Retro's the type to punish on whether you got a, a cool hidden thing or not. So there's more Banshees over there. These are different Banshees than the ones on Brio. But we can't scan those, because we'll be too busy using the grapple beam to really give them a good scan. Mm. Taking my time yep. here. Okay. Alright. Yep. Got it. A little bit of a morph ball puzzle over here. You know, I am A-OK -okay with morph ball puzzles. They're always fast, fluent, and you get the job done nice and quick. And sometimes you get rewarded with new upgrades to your morph ball. Sometimes you have a long tunnel that goes a whole long, whole long way. This is not a loading zone. Stop asking. <laughs> there we go. I love how it opened up its arms, seeming like, I'm gonna catch you, and you're like, ha, ah, bet! Well, he likes to go down there where, uh, d the banisters interrupt your grapple beam. Oh! Yeah, so... <laughs> la la yuck it up until he has the last <laughs> laugh. <laughs> I shall have the last laugh. Ha. Told you. He responds, in, he responds when we come back, so... Hey. <laughs> that was a pretty good last laugh. Hey. <laughs> Another data bot here. I'm just visualizing the people of this world having to toss a rock in order to be told a story. It's like an American museum. To learn about our people, just pull out your 9 mm and just... Pfft. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln was a 16th president <laughs> Instead of, of having, States. like, the recorder or the thing you, you know, you put the headphones on and you connect it, it's just like... <laughs> Thomas Jefferson was... <clears throat> Paleoanthology is a study of caveman. This is a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Known to be a giant reptilian monster. Corruption! Oh boy. So this is basically how they, uh... They left to go to Talon 4, which fell to ruin, as we know, because of the Phazon that they were trying to keep out, or keep in the, the planet, basically. And the Lesians were helpless to help their creators. So now they're basically adrift, without purpose, without any sort of directive. Just kind of drifting alone in space. Just work until death. Ooh, that's a bit. Alright! I can't believe we fell for the oldest trick in the book. We fall for every trick in the book. Damn it! Oh, hello! This is the defense drone! Okay, awesome. 
He's, He's got here. these three antennas up here. I'm loving the description. They look fragile, AKA shoot the damn thing. Shoot them. They put the shoot back. There we go. Do that, he opens up. You gotta yank this face paint, this uh, face plate off. Oh, there we go. And now he can take damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Has to go around the room too. Okay. Get, get. Oh, I, I blinked, and I thought he was shooting like mock droids at you. <laughs> my God, I need to get my eyes checked. It, it, it's like S. Maybe it's like some sort of dirty fuel gel or something. Yeah, I, I don't know. It, it had, it, at least I thought it had a little bit of greenish color. Delete some kind of residue on us. That's that burns. No. It, it, it does a lot of damage. I mean, it, it doesn't seem like it does much because we got so much, you know, free E tanks. But, what but, if, but we've already lost one E tank almost. Who would have thought the defense drone would deal the most damage? But then again, if you're being attacked. I want this defense drone. Help me out. It's, it's given me a good defense. Jeez. Do you okay. I need you to go back to third or fourth grade and do you remember those foam balls from gym class? Basically made a sponge. Did you ever have those? Instead of dodgeballs, they were like foam balls made a sponge. No. You never had anything like that? No. See, I was just thinking those things soaked up liquid like it was nobody's business, so he was basically throwing dodgeballs at you. I feel like I like, n never in gym class, because we use, you know, rubber balls like, you know, big bulls did. Or maybe, like, field day. But I feel like that maybe we had some in, like, the nursery portion of the daycare that I went to when I was in, like, second, third, fourth grade. The foam balls. Maybe? Oh, dear, dear. <laughs> you are, uh, awakening eldritch memories of mine. <laughs> I mean, it's either that or we're participating in, like, the most violent uh, show of Double Dare I've ever seen. Like the time I went to, uh, like, we had, like, a sleepover, a slumber party where all the kids just kind of stayed over had, like, you know, pillow fight and pizza and, you know, cake and watched movies. And one of the movies was, I know what you did last summer! We were in elementary school! I remember I had a lock-in with an old elementary school friend of mine. We went to a lock-in at his church and we played hide-and-seek in the dark, which was pretty cool. <laughs> and then after hiding for about 45 minutes, I realized they stopped looking for me. <laughs> so I just went back to the main room and they like, you, get, you guys done? <laughs> hey, don't feel bad. You won. I did. I was so good at hiding. All right, so what, what, what did they withhold from us? Dash ball. Yes. Hell yeah. Better known. Speedball. No! Oh, uh. That's a boost oh, ball! boost ball! Speedball is. <laughs> That's fucking heroin and cocaine mix! <laughs> we did not get those! The Chosen Suit does not need that! The Allegiance <laughs> did not need speedballs! I love how you preface. Chozo don't need that! <laughs> they don't need speedballs, man! Raven Peak's like, ah, oh, yes, but what if? <laughs> well, what if I did, though? <laughs> Alright, so, it takes a little bit of getting used to, but, uh, this is what we call a kinetic lock. It means that we, uh, it works almost like a Tesla coil, but also it uses static electricity, but also we're moving with magnets, and we use all these, all these things, and then good stuff happens. They ever use the elevator. Woo! That was actually pretty neat. It kind of felt like in Prime 1 and 2, all they had in terms of what we could do with the boost ball was spinners and and half pipes. Mm -hmm. I think they're kind of expanding upon that a little bit here. Well, they gotta find something new. You know, keep it fresh. We're on a new console, but... We are, that's right. We need to bring all the good stuff. Boost ball puzzles? Hell yeah. Jump ball? That was a, that's a big improvement, because it's more a QOL update than anything else, really. Well, after two games, you'd expect the third one to at least have some sort of extra for longtime fans. I mean, F Fusion had Jump Ball. Did we have to get it? Or was that in the beginning? I can't remember. I think it was when we got Space Jump. 
Okay, so it was just included. By extension, the Zero Mission had that too, so. Okay. Uh, I do the grapple beams again. Yeah. Oh, I'm being shot at. Yes, you are. Let's see how good your dodging is. Why, 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 <laughs> why, no! <laughs> you know, I honestly thought you were saying press Y, press Y. Oh, no, there is no Y there button on no the Wii mode. Oh, God! There is no Y button on the Wii mode. Ah! Press the Y button to dodge. Oh, no! I don't have my classic plugged in! <laughs> I'm gonna... Really? Huh? Be... You okay? There we go. Gotta be deliberate here. Now you just gotta make it. Damn it! Okay. See? Easy. <laughs> Easy. Your favorite letters. E. e Z. And Z. A lot of backtrack. Well, I'm, well, shit. <laughs> it's quite a bit of backtracking in Skytown, but they kind of mix it up by yeah, adding new enemies our way. That's all right. And usually, by the time you get what you're looking for, it's a new like traversal thing. So now we can come back. Now we have the boost ball because the bridge was out. We activate this kinetic luck. Takes some time. Just, you know, a second to get it going. It takes a little bit to Let's get, get it going. <laughs> okay, come on. Yeah, uh, blow on it to make it go. There we go. There, nice. That unlocks a kinetic orb cannon. Whoa! Nice. You know, I'm so glad when you come out of the morph ball, Samus's vision isn't scrambled, where she's just like, Ugh. but then again, we already know that she has. Pretty good stability. I think the, ch the suit kind of helps with that a lot. Yeah, I'm also thinking she. Oh my! I, I was hoping the hyper ball would do more, but all it did is just made me lose an E tank, and now I'm losing more. I was supposed to say it just annoyed them. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. was that a hyper ball? Ow! Quit! Stop! Ow! Really, missiles would have worked best because you know they would have had the resulting splash damage. Mm -hmm. So I don't think it loaded the grapple hook yet. All the way, because it won't let me t You see me trying to- But I can't get- It's not letting me hook onto the- Zoom. There we go! It just won't let me, man. How come it won't let me, man? Are you playing this on Wii or Wii U? Just out of curiosity. It's Wii. Okay. I don't play anything on Wii U. Not even Wii U. Just gets me curious, because Wii U has an updated processor, so it might make some Wii games respond just a tad quicker. So I wanted to go as authentic as I could. The first release on the console, it came out for! <laughs> authentic, right here. Yep, I'm I'm using an ori the original Wii I used all those years ago, with admittedly a newer Wii mote. That's okay. But that's fine. I feel like the, mo the motion plus is a stronger signal, if that makes sense. I, me I remember I used to have like a lot of jittering mm -hmm. on like the old Wiimotes. But ever since we got the motion plus and uh, indeed the ones that are that are uh, already connected, it feels like there's like a stronger signal. Like there's more data being processed in the Wiimote or something. Are you on your first or second Wii? Oh, I'm, I'm on my uh, first and only. First and only. I'll give Nintendo that. Yeah, I can't really get out of this room, so I mean, I would stop it here, but we gotta do this scene first. It's not gonna let me go otherwise, so. Sorry! Uh, this right here is pretty great. <laughs> yeah, this is a kinetic lock. Works at, at Disney. Again, takes some. It, 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 it takes some getting used to. I just. It, Rock on, dude! So pathetic! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> go on half by Oh my god, look at these 900s there you're pulling! You Girl's got some moves! Oh, it's like my high C has a stomach flu. Oh, and someone put a raisin in it and it got all big and bloated. Oh. I used to be filled with Ecto Cooler. Please help. I used to be green and now it's blue and there's mold and they're... Alright, the maintenance valve is open, so... I swear the last time I ate Subway, the gal gave me some expired chicken. Not happy. Oh dear. I should have looked at it. 
I shouldn't have taken their word. I might have been infected with face on. Well, before we uh, take a look at repairs, you gotta take care of these things, I guess. And we've taken a close look at them. They are defective. Oh wait, maybe if we look just a tad closer, we might be able to find that they are. Uh... Oh right, they were crafted by bitches. Oh wait, that was the chosen one. I mean, they're basically rock and sock and robots on like you know wind up legs. I can kind of see the influence that uh, Episode One of Star Wars had on these guys. It is satisfying to blow away shitty drones, though. It is nice. It's like it, it. It's like combining battle bots with knocking down all your brother's uh, Lincoln logs. Or tipping over dominoes. Yeah. And they're not. They're not human, so you don't get. Ah! Oh God! Help! Ah! Richard! Richard! Oh no! Ah! That's why it's always funny whenever I see a, a show or a cartoon or something like that get oil all over the main protagonist. Samurai Jack did that oh, yes. amazingly. That's Jenny Tarnikowski for you. Just slash a robot, just gets oil all over his face. Right, we've injected the vaccine, and uh, the phase on corruption is at 0%, so now we can. Uh. Uh, hey, Gore, what to- Whoa, whoa! What you doing? Stop breaking shit! Punk? Oh, I was just about to panic and give up, but at least you told me what to do. Oh, look what he did. He just- Oh, Fuck. Ugh. Put an entire hole in this world. Well, we, uh, saved the Aurora unit, but, uh, we... Like, the Wi-Fi's been disconnected? Oh, no. So, uh... It just reminded me of Ultron getting singed out of the internet. You shot me out! What a terrible dream we were having. Thank you for purging our phase on corruption and allowing us to awaken. Hey, no, no, no problem. Yeah, we gotta get to work. At least we got this done before Spectrum cut our internet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or Gore cut our internet. I mean, the computer still works, we just gotta fix the router now, basically. Oh, that's easy doing. Got, got weld a few things, uh, replace a couple of parts here and there, clear, clean out some of the gunk. Slam on it a few times, unplug it, then plug it back in. Right, so, uh, we need to connect to, to Skytown's network. Can't do that because Gore fucked it up. So we need, we got a plan to destroy the Leviathan Sea. Any ideas? Uh, I was thinking just shoot it a bunch with missiles. Missiles sound good. Or stealing the plasma beam from Gore. Let's. All right. Well, I don't want to kill him, so maybe we can rationally talk things out and ask him politely for his plasma cannon. That maybe he can get the help he needs to get the phase on out of him. All I heard was incapacitate the guy. Okay, we will we will try and incapacitate him then. Just do the swift like karate chop to the back of the neck. Knocks him out every time. Right, so next time on Metroid Prime 3, we're gonna be uh, looking into how we can fix the network. Maybe something to do with the plasma cannon that Gore has, maybe not, and uh Maybe we'll find something else to help that, because you know, when you gotta get rid of that Leviathan scene, it's kinda hard to get to the surface of the planet that we can't really get to, but I'm sure we'll figure something out. See you next time!